What's going on YouTube? Jeans here. Hope you guys are having an amazing day today. We are back yet again bringing you guys some more competitive ranked double battles for Pokemon Scarlet and Pokemon Violet. In today's video, we're going to be showcasing everyone's favorite evolution, or I should say mostly everybody's favorite evolution, Sylveon. You guys already know the deal. If you do enjoy the content anytime, make sure you support me as a content creator by leaving a like on today's video. And if you're not subscribed to the channel, click that bigger subscribe button so you know when all of my videos go live. But this team showcases some Pokemon that are really strong but are not like straight up meta. As you guys can tell, Golden Go has been across the meta a lot. The Donzo, Annihilate, this team has none of them, but they still have Pokemon that are like slightly out of the meta but still super, super strong, like the Rotom Wash and the Gargleneck. Like, we can get started here with today's team preview. Starting off in that top left corner, we have the one and only Cerulege. Cerulege is such a cool Pokemon. One of the coolest designed Pokemon, in my opinion, in a long while. With Flash Fire and Nuclear Amulet as item. Then it's rocking that Grass Terror type with Bulk Up, Bitter Blade, Shadow Sneak, and Protect. Loving this moveset. If you could set it up with Bulk Up, you could pretty much sweep teams with this Cerulege. Second Pokemon is going to be Rotom Wash. Like I mentioned, Rotom Wash is one of those Pokemon that is rather strong, but is not straight meta. Its typing is incredible with that uh, water and electric, and then it can tear it into grass. So if a grass Pokemon does come out onto the field, you can actually just eat up those shots by changing your type in the grass. This one has will o -Wisp, Thunderbolt, Nasty Pot to set up and protect for its final move. Kind of wish it did have Hydro Pump, considering Hydro Pump does carry Rotom sometimes, but it's all good. We'll work with what we have. Middle left is going to be Grimmsnarl. If you guys been watching any of my Pokemon competitive videos, you guys know Light Clay Grimmsnarl is my one of my favorite support Pokemon ever. It is just super strong, sets up screens super easily, and helps the team win a lot of battles. This one has Reflect, Light Screen, like you guys already know, then Spirit Break and Parting Shot for its two other moves. Fourth Pokemon is going to be Sylveon, and I absolutely love this Pokemon in competitive play. I think it's so good with its pixelated ability, and then its ability to learn a great move pool such as Calm Mind, Hyper Voice, Substitute, and Protect. Which is the move set that we are rocking with. We can set up the calm mines, we can set up the substitute, we got the leftovers for HP recovery, and we can kinda just out bulk Pokemon and just get after the battle that way. Bottom left hand corner is going to be the one and only Garchomp. Garchomp is so solid in ranked doubles, really can't go wrong with this Pokemon. This one has Sand Bell, Lumberry as the item, Dragon Call, EQ, Sword Dance, and Protect. The one thing I would change with this team is give Garchomp Rough Skin instead of Sand Bell because there's nobody set up the uh, Sand Stream. But I guess if we're going up against like a T Tar team, we could bring in Garchomp and he could benefit from that Sand Bell. Bottom right hand corner and the final Pokemon for today's team is going to be Gargleknack over here. And this Pokemon is super, super solid, especially up against physical attackers. It can set up an Iron Defense for that plus two, and then you can pretty much just roll out that way. You can just recover HP, Salt Cure, and slowly kill out Pokemon, or you can just Body Press with that Iron Defense boost. Really good Pokemon, really bulky Pokemon, and solid up against physical attackers. Guys, if you want to run this team for yourself, Run the COVID is at the top right hand corner, but let's get after it. Let's hop on that ranked double ladder, look to get some wins with this Sylveon team. First match coming at you guys, going up against a Trick Room team with Torkoal, Farigarath, Hariyama, Sylveon, just like ours, and then Lilligant and Oranguru. How are we going to counter Trick Room? I feel like bringing in a Pokemon such as like Gargleneck, somebody who is slow, can really just counter up on Trick Room pretty well. We can set up an Iron Defense first turn while they're setting up the Trick Room, and then pretty much just get after the battle that way. I'm all about it. I might lead that Pokemon. I might lead the Gargleneck. Alongside with Grimstraw, could be really good for us. Could definitely be good for us. So I'm kind of liking that. We'll go that. We'll bring in you. We just have to watch out for, uh, what's our terror type? Is it rock with this Pokemon? It is grass. That's going to be really good up against the Lilligant. If he wants to end up leading that, I'd be totally fine with that. So I'm just going to go into him. I'm going to go into Grimstraw. And then I am going to bring in, in, bump, bump, bump. Probably Sylveon in the back end. I really do like Sylveon showing in the back end with this one. And then either Cerulege or Garchomp. What do I want to do here? I'm kind of liking Garchomp, especially if we can waste out Trick Room. We can really use it in the back end. I'm kind of liking that. I mean, if he does set Sun, we do get that Sun with the Bitter Blade, which could be good as well. So, yo, Cerulege? I'm kind of, I'm kind of digging Cerulege, because we know that he's bringing Torkoal. We know the Sun's going to be set. I'm going to bring in my Fire-type Pokemon. We can get after it. We can rock out with this battle. And look to grab ourselves a win here in match number one. But, yeah, this team doesn't really have any ways to, like, hard counter Trick Room, like Taunt or Trick Room itself. But it has Pokemon such as the Gargleneck and the screens to kind of prevent Trick Room. Or like actually not prevent Trick Room. To slow it down and get after the battle that way. So we'll see who they want to lead. It is going to be the Frigoraph and the Hariyama. Hariyama can definitely fake me out. But I wonder who he is going to fake out. That's the real question. That is going to be the real question. Because I would love to set up this Reflect right here. I'm going to try to get off the Reflect. And I'm going to try to get off an Iron Defense. I feel like that's a solid turn one. Especially with Hariyama out here. Big old physical attack here can really get some work done. If I can set up these Iron Defense... I think we would be fine. We'll see. He's going to fake out my Grimstone. I'm fine with that. That did a nice chunk of damage. 
So he does that. I'm going to boost my iron defense. And then I'm going to set up this reflect. And I might just start salt curing Pokemon. There's a trick room. Again, I'm fine with the trick room. I don't mind it too much. I don't mind it too much. I could change my typing into grass. But I really don't want to. I really don't want to. I feel like this reflect's going to do really good for us. And then on top of this, we could start to salt cure over onto one of these Pokemon. Hmm. I'm really leaning towards you. Yeah, I'm going to throw a salt cure over onto the Hariyama. Reflect's going to come out here. I can definitely see a close combat coming out into my uh, Gargonac. But again, we're plus two defense boost it. And yeah, there it is. And we have that Reflect set up. So I'm liking that a lot. I could definitely recover next turn and kind of get rolling. So I'm with it. I'm with it. So Salt Cure is going to fire. I wonder what Ferrigoraph is doing. I do wonder what Ferrigoraph is doing. I do wonder what you're doing, Ferrigoraph. He's going to Psychic into my Knack. Or going to go into my Knack. That hurts soul. Now he can close combat me again if he wants to. But again, we're just slowly wasting out these Trick and Turns. Salt Cure is going to come out here. Start chipping up some damage. So he's taking burn damage. He is taking some Salt Cure damage. And I wish I did have Protect for my... My boy right there, but we don't. Uh, I could parting shot. I could spirit break. Or I could set up a light screen. I'm going to set up the light screen in this instance. Um, hmm. Do I swap you? You know close combat's coming in here. I could go into Cerule Edge and just slowly waste out turns. I'm all about it. I'm all about going into Cerule Edge. I do have Bright Powder, but I think Cerule Edge is our play. Keep our Pokemon alive, dodge this close combat, and waste out turns. I think I'm with that. And you're gonna withdraw? No, no, you're withdrawing that Pokemon. That one kind of hurts. That one kind of hurts. It's gonna go into Torkoal. No, Sylveon comes out here. I'm fine with that. Um, we're gonna end up swapping. That one hurts. I could have recovered that turn and pretty much just kept my boy thriving. I could have kept him thriving. But we set up a light screen here. I could party shot that Pokemon next turn. And I could swap into somebody else if I want to. But Psychic's gonna fly here into yeah my Cerule Edge, and we're gonna be able to start pretty well. Screens are helping us out tremendously. Screens are helping us out. But from here, I'm thinking of just parting shotting. Because we get that, that plus one, or we get that prankster. So we can outspeed, and then I can just protect you, or I can shadow sneak. I think I just protect you this turn. I could go for the bitter blade. I think I'm going to go for the bitter blade right over to you. I'm with this all day. I'm with it all day. We're going to see a Terra, and we're going to see a helping hand hyper voice. But I get the parting shot before this and get in a different Pokemon. So I'm out of here. Oh my god, Armor Tail protects you. I hate you, Armor Tail. I hate you, Armor Tail. Thank you, Light Screen. Light Screen definitely helping us out here. I'm all with it. We could have went for a Spear Break that turn. This thing is going to be Hyper Voice, so... Yeah, kind of a pain. Kind of a pain, but I really just want to get off some damage and start to take out this Frigoraph, because Trick Room is going to end soon. And if I could just start ripping into damage onto that Pokemon, we should be chilling. Should be chilling. I do have a Sylveon on my own in the back end. I still have the Garchomp. I'm going to double down into the Frigoraph at this point. Because again, I want to get rid of it. We know a lot of his Pokemon right now. We know he has a Sylveon, the Hariyama, and the Frigoraph. And then his back end Pokemon, like I said, it, I think it's got to be Torkoal, right? It makes the most sense to be Torkoal. Especially because he did swap into Sylveon. Actually, I don't know. I don't know. Because I was going to say, he swapped into Sylveon with my... uh with my rock Pokemon out there, because why would you swap into the fire Pokemon with a rock Pokemon on the field? Right? Makes no sense. We'll see. He's going to end up Terrasilizing, probably going into the fire type. No, it's a ground type. Ooh. That's fancy. I'm starting to always forget about uh, Frogoraph's ability, Armor Tail, which prevents first turn priority moves. But I'm starting to learn it, because I haven't went up against uh, too many Frogoraphs so far. We soaked this Hyper Voice all day. Dude, Light Screen. I love uh, Light Screen and Reflect. It makes us so bulky. And this is just a solid battle. This is what I was talking about. Just waste out the trick and turns. Do half damage. We're getting back pretty much full HP. We're getting back pretty much full HP. But I gotta start getting after this Frigoraph. Because he's gonna set up Trick Room again. He is gonna set up the Trick Room again. I could go for the Hyper Voices. Could go into you. Uh, what do I want to do here? I could recover you. I could just go into Sylveon here. I might recover you at this point. This might be a solid turn from us. Just to go straight into a recover. Get our HP back. I don't mind if he sets up the trick room again. I really don't. I really don't see it being that big of a problem. I really don't see it being that big of a problem. I'm going to recover. I'm going to use this turn to be able to get, get some HP back. 
you could set up a trick room all day and Did I bulk up here? Or do I just slowly start getting rid of the Sylveon? I can't shadow sneak with Frigga Ramp on the field, but we know Frigga Ramp is going for Going for the plays Um Hmm I'm gonna get after Sylveon, we got a bit more HP back He's gonna protect, hmm It's fine, set up that, you can set up that trick room again I am setting up this lovely bitter blade, or not bitter blade, lovely recover. Get some HP back. I'm all about it. I'm all about it. Give me that HP back. Big rock boy get HP. Yo, what a solid first battle. It's a great first battle all around. We go up to 170. I wish we did have. I really do wish we had uh, what's it called? Leftovers on this Pokemon. But from here, I could set up an iron defense for which I think I'm gonna do. I think I'm just set up an iron defense. I'm just going to a bitter blade here. I might swap the Frigoraph. Nope, helping hand coming out here. We still have the light screens. I'm gonna try to bulk up this uh Gargonac here. Iron defense coming out here, and he is slower than both these guys. Maybe I should have went after the Frigoraph just so I can recover next turn. So I don't know if we can pick up KO. Terra Blast coming in here. Probably gonna try to take him. No, he goes after you. That's fine. Should be able to soak. Is that a crit? Was it? Why did I do so much damage? I have light screen! I have light screen! Alright, looks like we gotta get after this battle. We take out you. I have light screen. That one hurts soul. That one hurts soul. Terror Blast doing me so dirty. The Terror Blast came out here. He does have Hariyama ready to roll. Um, Probably gonna bring it out. I thought I brought the Garchomp for some reason. No, I end up bringing Cerule Edge over that. But I do have Sylveon here. And Sylveon's not gonna work too bad. I think, I think he is gonna end up bringing out Hariyama. I don't mind too much. I'm gonna bring out my Sylveon and Hariyama should come out here. No, a Rankaru comes out here. Okay, so a Rankaru comes out here. Um, What's your Terror type? I still, I still could Terrasilize. Steel. I didn't have bad Terror type. I could Calm Mind here. Hyper Voice could come out here from us. We do have Leftovers. Ah, oh, I'm thinking I'm just setting up these. Calm Mind and going into potential Bitter Boy just to constantly get some HP back. Yeah, I'm with it. I'm with going into the combine, setting up my Sylveon. This is such a good battle. Psychic's gonna fly here. I do have Protect on this thing. Should be able to soak this. Yeah, really well. Combine's gonna come out here. He's gonna Foul Play on top of that, too. Foul Play's doing a nice chunk of damage. But I am gonna be able to get up back enough HP to eat up another Foul Play. But I'm still just gonna Protect this turn. I'm just gonna waste that Trick Room again. I'm wasting it out. All day. Bitter Blade flying. Getting after this, dude. Nice damage. Lovely damage. Lovely damage. So we have enough HP to eat up another foul play. We don't have enough HP to eat up a double down, though. If he doubles down into my true edge. Of course, Frigoraph has an item. And yo, this is one of the best battles I had in Scarlet Violet so far. But from here, we're calm mind set up. I can freely go into Hyper Voice all day. I really do not want to lose my true edge here. So I'm kind of all about just popping this. And just protecting. So we'll see what he wants to do. We'll see. I'll protect my true edge. And what are you doing? Go ahead. You, you gotta be going after my Cerule Edge. Yeah, solid protect from us. We block one shot. I think he might double down into me here. So if he doubles down, this could be a really good turn from us. Oh, yes, sir. Yes, sir. Let's go. Big turn from us. We double protect. Block both his shots. We have Sylveon, who's plus one. Drop a nice lovely hyper voice. Picking up the KO on the free wrath. We like that a lot. Yo, screens are ending soon, though. Screens are ending soon. They're no bueno. We obviously have to protect our Sylveon next turn. He's gonna go for the fake out with the Hariyama. And then I think Trick Room might end by that turn, right? Trick Room might end by that time. And at that point, Hyper Voice can really get some work done. I still have my Terror type, which I would like to Terrasilize my Cerule Edge next turn, but I gotta protect you. I could Terrasilize you now, but then we just change to Grass. I mean, changes to Grass could be good, considering... Considering uh, the Foul Play won't do as much damage to us. So I'm gonna use my Terrasilize here. I think we should be fine. I think we should be fine. Sylveon is plus one on that special attack. I think Fake Out has to go into the Sylveon slot, considering we are Ghost. So if I can block that, get leftovers, waste out Trick Room, I think we can Hyper Voice one shot this Hariyama. So I'm all about it. Plus, I would think Hariyama would go after Sylveon regardless, considering we we were Ghost typing. So Fake Out or Close Combat can hit us. But let's see what he wants to do here. Yep, there's the fake out. Another great read from us. Yo, this is such a good battle. Hopefully you guys are enjoying the content. 
He's gonna go for the foul play. We change the grass to soak that up. And Bitter Blade's gonna fly. We're gonna get some more HP back. Solid, solid. And I can I can safely shadow sneak here if I want to. But I can't do it up against a Ranguru because he is a normal type. But Trick Room should be gone, right? Is Trick Room gone? Show me Trick Room's gone. Show me that Trick Room's gone. If it's not, I'll just protect Super Ledge and kind of get it for the battle that way. But yo, that Hariyama's definitely scary. Show me Trick Room's gone. Light Screen's gone. No, not my Light Screen. Trick Room's gone. My Light Screen and my Reflect should be gone, right? Did I miss my Reflect being gone? Yeah, we have none of those now. But again, Trick Room's gone. I can freely Hyper Voice, and I think we have this game in the bag. Hyper Voice into a Bitter Blade into this Pokemon. GG's. There it is, yo. Battle was canceled. What a way to counter that Trick Room team. Second battle coming at you guys. What a way to get this video started. Slow play that first one and literally just outplay our opponent. Made perfect protects, made perfect plays by setting up our Pokemon, and just ended up winning that battle. But we're going up against an Indeedee and Meowth team with King Gambit, Armor Rouge, Mousehold, and Torkoal. I don't really see him bringing in the Torkoal unless he wants to set the Trick Room with the Armor Rouge, which is definitely an option. I do not have Hydro Pump on this Pokemon, which I really wish we did have for the Torkoal and the Armor Rouge, but we don't. We do not. Uh, who should I go into? For that, I could go into Guard Chomp. Guard Chomp's not too bad here. Really good with the, uh, the what's it called? With the EQ. So I might go Screens and Guard Chomp. Could be a lead. I believe you are Ground Terror type, right? Let me check. Yeah, I really do like it being Ground Terror type. So I have Screens ready to set up. I have Guard Chomp ready to roll. Uh, who else should I go into? Sylveon. I do like Sylveon here. I don't watch out for that, uh, the King's Gambit. But Sylveon's pretty solid here. And then final Pokemon. I'm kind of leaning towards my boy right here. I don't mind you either. I do not mind Rotom here either. Especially for burns. I'm going to go Rotom. I'm going to go Rotom. Just for typing advantage. I feel like it has a decent typing advantage. And we can rock out with it. So let's lock it in. Let's lock it down. Let's look to go back to back for today's video. But yeah, we allowed our opponent to set up two trick rooms. And we still won. Two trick rooms we allowed him to set up. I feel like we just brought in the perfect Pokemon. We set up the Calm Mine. We had the screens. The screens are OP. I wouldn't say they're OP, but they are so good. They are so good. He's going to end up bringing in Arm Rouge alongside with this Pokemon. And I have to drop. I have to drop an EQ here. I have to drop an EQ. Follow me could come out here. He could try to set up that Trick Room, but I have to drop an EQ and hit my Grimstone. It's an absolute must. I could Terra here. Do I Terra? I'm thinking of Terra. I think I have to Terra. I think I have to Terra. Just to try to get rid of that armor. And then on top of that, I could parting shot. Actually, I can't. There's that, uh, there's that what's called out and about. The terrain. But I'll set up a reflect. Because I think the reflect can neglect the damage going into my Grimstarl slot. And I'm hoping he, they go for a follow me and then we can take out the armor. Because we know the armor is looking to set up a trick room. And if I can just get that out the way, turn one, I think that could be a huge turn for us. So I'm going to tear her straight in the ground right off the rip here. Reflect's going to set up for my Grimmsnarl. And Indeedy, what are you doing? No follow me here. No follow me. So you probably predict we're going into But hopefully we get rid of that armor. Rouge. We get rid of that armor. Rouge. This thing's sashed? It's not sashed. It's not. So it just gleams and gets off the trick room. Soul was hurt. Soul has been hurt. Um, okay. Soul has been hurt, but I can set up a late screen here. I'll go for an EQ again. And I'll set up the light screen. Okay, so we get light screen. We get reflect set up. I think... I think maybe Garchomp can eat up the shots. I'm not too sure. But I think after light screen we can. We'll see. I'm so surprised I didn't KO. I'm, I'm honestly so surprised. I'm super surprised. Expanded Force is going to come out here. Does not affect me. But it's going to hit my Garchomp. We do have screen set up. And it still does a nice chunk. But screen is doing me good. Screens are doing me good. But it was Orby. It wasn't even Sash. That lucky biscuit. Lucky biscuit. Gleam's gonna fly here. Take out my Grimmsnarl. Keep my guard. Oh, it does not take out my Grimmsnarl. Does not take out my Grimmsnarl. So we're just wasting our trick turns here. I'll protect my chop next turn. Actually, we do KO our own Grimmsnarl. <laughs> we KO our own Grimmsnarl. And I don't think that's a bad turn. I don't think that's a bad turn considering he is gonna throw out Torkoal here. All right, Torkoal seems like a must throw out. And I could save my Sylveon. I could save my Sylveon and just go into this Pokemon, which I'm kind of leaning towards. Just chipping up some damage with Thunderbolts. I mean, Light Screen's out. I could double protect this turn, which I'm kind of leaning towards. Just to waste out a turn of Trick Room. But King Gambit does come out here. 
That kind of hurts. Because Sil we have Sylveon in the back end. We do have Sylveon in the back end. Obviously, the Torkoal comes out here. Uh, huh. Supreme Overlord come. Dude, this is not looking. No bueno. No bueno. Okay, so obviously, double protect. Waste out these turns as much as we possibly can. If I could land an EQ, that would be amazing. But I don't think there's a shot that we survive any of these these hits, right? I just don't see it happen. I don't see it happen. He's going to tear it into fire. He's going to rip into me. What is up with us going up against Trick Room Team today? Just a dang shame. It's just a shame. We could have countered if we doubled down into that arm rouge. But I could have sworn that this Garchomp terror typed in the ground could just rip into the arm rouge. But... I don't really know the armor stats so well. It seems a lot bulkier than most Trick Room Setters. Or than like most good special attackers. Because I think it hit like a truck and it's pretty bulky. It's just it's just decently slow. The Trick Room gets set up here. We're going to double protect. I think he has to double down into the uh, the road time here, right? But we'll double protect. We're just trying to waste out these Trick Room turns. But it's going to be tough with this Sylveon. Sylveon and that... King's Gambit out on the field. Not looking too hot for us. Not looking too hot for us at all. But obviously, I'm going to go for an EQ. He's going to go for the Kowtow Cleave alongside. Oh, he's double down on Chomp. Surprise, surprise. Um, Doubles down into the Chomp. We have to go for the EQ here. I could hard swap into Sylveon. I feel like having Garchomp can win us this battle. So I feel like we have to swap into Sylveon. I'm going to swap into Sylveon. <clears throat> swap it into Sylveon and... Getting after you? Getting after you. How many turns are left in Trick Room? Two. Okay, yeah. If we swap, we can have our Garchomp full HP ready to go. Let's chip up some damage on the Torkoal. I'm all with it. But we might just have to sacrifice our Sylveon here. We need our Garchomp for later. We need our lovely chomp for later. He goes for the eruption. Both you guys should eat this up. We do have the screens out and about. I know it's going to be tough. I know it does too much damage. That's a lot of damage. And I eat up my citrus berry. So if you take out my Sylveon here, we can just double protect again. Waste out this trick room and then get after the battle that way. He goes for the Kowtow Cleave. Go on to Sylveon, please. Thank you. Oh, Sylveon eats. Say less. Say less. Say less. Thunderbolt coming in hot. Built. Doing half damage. And now... I could just double protect. Trick Room, get on out of here. We can get rid of Trick Room. We can chip up damage and then I... Oh, he does have Sucker Punch. He does have Sucker Punch. How much turns left in our, our Reflect? Four. Oh, that's, what, that's a good amount of turns. I do like that amount of turns in our Reflect. I do like that amount of turns in our Reflect. So I'm double protecting. Trick Room has got to go. I can't deal with it. I cannot deal with it. And we're probably going to see the same thing happen. Solid swap from us into the Sylveon. So Eruption comes out here. I can see uh, him doubling down into my Rotom with Kowtow Cleave. Trick Room is gone. He can't Sucker Punch because of the terrain, but I think the terrain ends very, very soon. Now I can freely Sucker Punch if that terrain's gone. Hopefully the terrain stays out here one more turn. So I would really, really like that. I'm not too sure. Yeah. Terrain's gone. Mm. Okay, so Hyper Void's gonna pop out here from us. And I'm just gonna double down into this Pokemon because I'm, I'm I'm fairly positive. Oh, we just canceled this battle. We love it. We love it. I was gonna say I'm fairly positive my Garchomp can one tap one tap the Torkoal, but the King Gambit is a different story. Final match coming at you guys, and we're just outplaying our opponents in these battles. We are just doing work with our opponents, counter two Trick Room teams, swapping in and out at the perfect time, and setting up our Pokemon. But like I said, our third and final battle is here, going up against a Quack Quavel team, alongside with Sylveon, Cerule Edge, and then Garchomp Earthworm, which could actually has the new ability uh, Earth Eater, which regenerates his HP if he gets hit by a ground move. So he's probably going to pair that up with the Garchomp. That is a Steel-type Pokemon. We could get after it with our Cerule Edge. I kind of do like that. But he also has that uh, lovely little Kilowattrel that can set up a... What is that? It can set up a Tailwind. So I think Reflex can come out here <laughs> again. Reflex just works so well. Le Reflex on the Light Screen. So Grimstar, you're coming in here. Sylveon, you could come in this battle here as well. Do some work up against a few of these Pokemon. So I'm really digging you. I'm really digging you. I don't know if I should lead you. Could be a good lead. I do have the Steel Terror type in case uh, he brings out the Earthworm. But I don't know if I want to lead you. I really don't know if I really want to lead you. I could go into like Surge, which could be good. Because I could definitely see like the Garchomp combo coming out here. 
He could lead the Quack Quavel too. That's what reason why I kind of want to go into Sylveon. So I am going to end up... Actually, best bet all around could just be straight up you. Right? You seem like you cover a lot. I I'm, I'm with this Pokemon right here. I can throw Burns on Pokemon. I'll bring Sylveon in the back end. And then I am just got to bring Garchomp. Actually, we're tired of seeing Garchomp. We're going to go with Cerulege. Such a cool Pokemon. <laughs> Garchomp would be good, but Cerulege is a lot cooler. And you guys haven't seen too much of Cerulege considering it just came out in this game. And Garchomp has been all over the meta ever since it's been released in Gen 4. So you guys seen plenty of Garchomp. We're going to rock out with Cerulege in today's video. Let's see who they end up leading. Oh, yo, look at that. Look at that Quaxley hat. That thing is tough. That's tough. That is tough. That is real tough. We're gonna end up going into Grimstar real time. They go Sylveon alongside with Kilowattrel. And I'm guessing Kilowattrel probably has. Probably has. What's it called, right? I could Nasty plot. I could plot. I could definitely plot. I'm gonna plot. But I'm guessing Kilowattrel has Bolt Absorb, so I really don't wanna hit it. Oh, that's a good turn from us, the Nasty plot setup. But I really don't wanna hit it with a. Uh... Oh, a double protect. Oh! Oh, this is a beautiful turn from us. This is a beautiful turn from us. But I really don't want to hit the Kilowattrel with electric move because it might have Volt Absorb. But this is a beautiful turn from us. We set up Light Screen. We drop a nice, lovely, nasty plot. We'll get set up here. We shall get set up here. And from here, I could go... I'm thinking just part and shotting. Right into the Kilowattrel? Or into Sylveon. No, I'm going to do this. And I'm just going to Thunderbolt straight into Sylveon. I have the plot set up. We're parting shot into you. I'm gonna say, Ayo, I'm out of here. I'm dipping. I'm gone. I think, oh no. It's <laughs> competitive. Oh no. No. <laughs> Whoa there. It's plus. What is it? Plus three? <laughs> that's, that's ugly. That's this is gonna get ugly. Um, okay. I guess I go to my. <laughs> Yo, that's rough. <laughs> competitive kilowatt will coming out. Um,. I think I'm going to my Sylveon. I'm going to go into my Sylveon. Yeah, one coming out here. This is scary. This is real scary now. I don't think we're going to be able to KO the Sylveon, but we're going to be able to do a nice chunk of damage. Edge going to help us soak a little bit. And this thing has the Hyper Voice. Or not the Hyper Voice, the Throw Spray. Competitive? Oh, that's ugly. T Ball comes over here. Poor plus two. Chipping up some nice damage. We do have leftovers. Uh, hmm. Might double down into me. I could protect this turn and just go for a hyper voice. But I think we just have to get after you, Kilowattle. I'm getting straight after this thing. Thunderbolt. Into my Rotom. Rotom eats. Eat that berry. Eat that berry. Now I need you to eat up this hyper voice, which I don't think you can. I mean, you could dodge it, but I don't think you can eat up this hyper voice. Eat this up, Rotom. Nah, dude. That's tough. That's a tough move. Real tough news. That <laughs> is real tough. Hyper Voice flying out here. Doing some nice damage onto the Kilowattrel. I like that. Um, hmm. This is tough. This is so tough. Uh, I have Grimstar, but Grimstar is not going to be able to do like, a crazy amount of damage. I actually might be able to KO the Kilowattrel. Thing is, if it doesn't, we're in some trouble. We're in some trouble. I'm gonna say it does. Kilowattle's not that bulky. Oh no. This is tough. This is real tough. I'm just gonna hyper voice and I'm gonna spirit break. He protects Kilowattle, that's fine. My Sylveon can take out his Sylveon. Oh no. Oh no. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, I dropped that parting shot and it was just like competitive. I was like, oh no. Boosted it once when I dropped its uh, attack and then boosted it again when I dropped its special attack. I believe this thing's sitting at plus three. We do get rid of his Sylveon. I do have leftovers I can protect next turn. Just to recover some more HP. I'm kind of leaning towards doing that because I feel like Kilowattra would be the Pokemon to go after my Sylveon being plus three. And then if he throws out a physical attacker, Reflect's obviously going to be set up on our side of the field. It's going to be Quack Quabble. I don't like this game. Uh, I guess I'll protect. I have to protect. I'm sorry, I have to. Um, bump, 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 bump. Gotta set up and reflect. I have to. This is such a tough match. This is such a tough match. Because this thing could just start aqua stepping, picking up KOs, and just moxie boosting out. 
and then it, things get real ugly real quick. I wish I did have quick attack. Thunderbolt coming in hot here. Takes you out, right? Okay. As long as this thing's not Aqua Step and KOs. He goes for the Aqua Step. Huh. Tough news here. Tough news here. We do have the Reflect set up. I'm going to have to Terra change my... My Saru ledge. Tailwind is gone. That's really good for us. Tailwind is gone. Uh... I'm hoping I can Shadow Sneak and pick up a KO onto that Kilowattrel. And then just Hyper Voice out. But I have to Terrasilize and go into a Shadow Sneak. I'm hoping this can KO. I really am. Really am hoping this can KO. But yeah, we have to Terrasilize because one Aqua Step will kill us. And if he Aqua Steps into me and I can get off this Hyper Voice onto him, I feel like we could pick up a KO because Quack Quabble. HP isn't like his HP and defense stats aren't like crazy, but he's gonna terrestrialize, which probably yeah okay. Right, play. What are you going into? Go straight flying. Okay, that ain't too bad. No way. This thing have terror blast. This thing is gonna straight terror blast into my uh, Cerule edge because that could be ugly. That can get ugly real quick. If it has terror blast, it's super effective onto me. But I doubt it's rocking him, right? I would think Aqua Step, Close Combat, Protect, and uh, what's the other move it learns? Something else. Another water move. Does it learn Jet Punch? It might learn Jet Punch, which could get ugly. We go into the Shadow Sneak. It does pick up the KO, so we don't allow him to set up another Tailwind. And we're hoping he goes to Aqua Step into... Oh, it goes for Brave Bird. Don't go after my Sylveon. Leave my Sylveon alone. No, you went to a Brave Bird into me? Hold up. You went to a Brave Bird into... Did I just get out red like that? That might be one of the best reads I've ever seen. Reading my terror type? That's wild. That is wild. Can you pick up KO here? Oh, I love you, Sylveon. Sylveon, you're a dog. You're a dog. That's a big time KO, but yo, that read? That read was wild. It was absurd. We do have screen set up, which is huge. I have leftovers coming here. I can protect for a little bit more HP, depending on what Pokemon comes out here. Who's your final Pokemon? No Terra. It's gonna be Cerulege. Um. Okay. Hey Ben. I think it was Cerulege. We are super effective. I am going to protect just so I can actually uh get some HP back. But I don't know how much damage this Pokemon is really gonna do to us. But I feel like we should be able to eat. Go for that bitter blade. So I want to soak up some hits. I wish I did have quick attack. I really do. But I think one hyper voice can pick up the KO. Unless he's Sash. But I think this is, Bitter Blade's physical attacking, right? I think Bitter Blade is. I'm gonna actually check because I want to see how many turns left in our screens. One turn left in the light screen, five turns in reflect. We need this thing to be physical, and I think it is, right? Physical, R and D physical. It's beautiful. So it is a physical attacker. Uh, I'm all about it. So reflect's gonna help us out tremendously throughout the rest of this match. And oh my god, I just went for a hyper voice. And I mean, that's the only move we can go for. We're gonna lose this one. But I went for a hyper voice thinking it was super effective because of the way that the, the what's called is placed. It says it's super effective only because it was super effective onto the quack wobble last turn. And yeah, this is not looking good for us. Not looking good for us. Cause look, it says super effective, so I just mashed A. Um Anything I could do to win this battle? I don't think there is. Unless he can miss an attack. I'm gonna have to protect. I'm gonna go for this. I'm gonna say he m might miss an attack. I could set up a calm mind soon. He's just gonna straight up bitter blade in. But I feel like we need a crit. But I just need HP back. Do I go for the double protect? I feel like we need to go for double protect because I don't think we're gonna be able to eat up this first one. Or this next one. Screw it. We'll just go for the hyper voice. Bitter blade coming out here. Eat this, please. Nah, you don't. GG's. GG's. Solid, solid final battle right there. Came down to the wire. Really, really close all around, but we ended up losing that one. But hey, grab ourselves a winning record for today's video. And the first two battles, and even the third battle, were nice, long, drawn out, and solid Pokemon battles. This Sylveon team, I think I had the most fun with using on the rank ladder so far. I absolutely love this team. Every single Pokemon all around was amazing. We had two brand new Pokemon with the Cerule Edge and the Gargle Knack. Again, then you got the Grimstone for screens and support. You got the Sylveon who did a lot of work in today's video. And then you got the Rotom and Garchomp, which are solid on any team. But guys, that is going to be it for today's video. If you did enjoy the content, don't forget to smash that like button for me. And if you're new here, seriously, yo, 
head down there, click that big red subscribe button so you know when all my videos go live. Seriously, you guys rock out. Make sure you spread some positive day, and I'll catch you all in the next one. Peace out, everybody.